Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Andrea Roan. We continue to keep a close watch on the cleanup process in Ellicott City. Today, business owners got a second chance to assess the damage caused by the devastating flooding on Sunday. Our Makia Turner was there this morning and she talked to residents who are trying to salvage what's left. Business owners and residents have another opportunity to visit the flood prone area and this is their first stop here. St. Peter's Episcopal Church where they can pick up donations and then catch a ride to their home or business. It's eerily familiar. We weren't yeah. able to catch a ride with Gretchen Shuey, who owns Bean Hallow, a coffee shop on Main Street. But she shared these devastating pictures with us. My shop has actually more mud in it than last time. Um, the damage to the outer walls was um, more severe this time. This is the second time Shuey's shop has been destroyed in almost two years. The last time anyone here saw violent floodwaters like this. I've been struggling a lot over the last year to um, keep my anxieties and my worries down every time it rains. Memories of trapped staff members and customers from 2016 leave Shuey shaken. So does the thought about the time it took to rebuild, which was eight and a half months. And I can't worry about them anymore. Sorry. It's the one thing that will make me cry. Sorry. I can't, the stress and anxiety, thinking about my staff, and I just can't live like that anymore. Shuey is one of many business owners and residents who would get a chance to go back to their home or business today and for a longer period of time. At the church, an outpouring of support. We wanted to bring some paper towels to just do our share. People like Leslie Ferrara, who lives close by, dropped off a donation. Others did the same along with volunteers, like these guys who came from California. Obviously we can't fix everything, um, but the impact that us individually can make, I know, will, will mean a lot to them in the long run. Especially for people like Shuey, who plans to rebuild, just not here. Reporting from Ellicott City, Makia Turner, WUSA 9.